Hey, Shalom, Akia. First off, I want to say, the water, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, for giving me the spirit to do this video. Double honors to the elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to you, brothers in general, that's doing this truth and sincerity. This video is going into, you shall eat, but they shall be hungry. And the question is, how are we going to eat? Well, it's a mystery right now on how we're going to eat. But we know that the elect of the nation of Israel which you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, you make up the 12 tribes of Israel, the elect of our nation are going to eat, and Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai are going to make sure that the elect eats, okay? And a lot of it is going to be faith, okay? A lot of it is going to be faith. The man of the Lord that has that faith, okay, and that believe that no matter what, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, is going to provide for them in that time, no matter how crazy and how much chaos is going on. And there's going to be a lot of chaos, and it's very soon, okay? I'm going to go to Isaiah 65. I'm going to start at 11. But ye are they that forsook the Lord, that forgot my holy mountain, that prepare a table for that troop, and that furnish the drink offering unto that number. Who is he talking about? The two-thirds of our people that are not listening to the prophets of the Lord through the four corners of the earth. Here it is, we're speaking this word for years all across the globe. Though our people are waking up, the people who are supposed to wake up, okay, but even those who know that they're Israelites and waking up to the basics of just being the Israelite, a lot of them are rebellious and don't want to listen. So those are the ones that forgot the Lord, forgot that forsook the Lord. All right, and forsook his men and didn't want to hear him. Verse 12, therefore will I number you to the sword and you shall all bow down to the slaughter because when I call, how's the Lord calling? Through the prophets, okay? On the streets, in your downtown areas and all across the internet in general, all right? Because when I call, you did not answer. When I spake, you did not hear, but did evil before my eyes and did choose that wherein I delighted not. Verse 13. Therefore thus says the Lord God, Yahweh, Behold, my servant shall eat, but you shall be hungry. Behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but you shall be ashamed. So during that time, the elect, the men of the Lord, the chosen ones out of the nation of Israel, are going to eat. But once again, do we know exactly how we're going to eat? No, because it's going to be by faith, by trusting in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? But remember, when you read about the Lord Yahweh Shai, when he was on the scene during the Roman time, look at the miracles he did. Okay? Look how much he preached about faith. Look how much he taught about faith to the men of the Lord, to the disciples, to the people, okay? Faith was very heavy in Yahweh Shai's mouth. And that's what it's going to take to eat in these last days. I'm going to go to John 14, verse 12. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do shall he do also. And greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. Right. So the believers in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you're going to do the works that Yahweh Shai did, but even greater. Now, did he not turn two fishes and five loaves into many? Let's go to it. Let's go to Matthew chapter 14. I'm going to start at verse 14. And Yahweh Shai went forth and saw a great multitude and was moved with compassion toward them. And he healed their sick. And when it was evening, his disciples came to him, saying, This is a desert place, and the time is now past. Send the multitude away, that they may go into the villages and buy them victuals. But Yahweh said unto them, They need not depart. Give ye them to eat. And they say unto him, We have here but five loaves and two fishes. He said, Bring them hither to me. And he commanded the multitude to sit down on the grass. And took the five loaves and the two fishes, and looking up to heaven, 
he blessed and break and gave the loaves to his disciples and the disciples to the multitude. And they did all eat and were filled. And they took up the fragments that remained, twelve baskets full. And they that had eaten were about 5,000 men, besides women and children. Going back to John 14 and 12, I'm going to read it again. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do shall he do also. And greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. So I just read one of the works. Okay, you had two fishes and five loaves of bread that the Lord fed 5,000 men and children with. So if we're going to do the works that he did in greater, then how do you think we're going to eat, man? How do you think we're going to eat if everybody else ain't eating? Through miracles, man, through faith and doing miracles. And people are going to see those miracles, okay? The Lord said he shall give his man fame in the land that they'll put to shame, his people fame. Part of that fame is going to be these miracles, man, that's going to take place. So when it says uh, back in Isaiah 65, verse 13, Therefore thus says the Lord God, Behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. The elect is going to have the spirit on them, man, to have the faith, okay, that if they have... For example, if they have a little bit of food, they can turn that little bit of food and stretch it to make it a lot. For whatever they need to feed them, if they got a family to feed their families. Just like Yahweh Shai did with the two fishes and the five loaves of bread. Now that's faith. Okay? That's faith. But that's how you're going to have to trust in Yahweh Shai. You're going to have to trust in Yahweh Shai. On that level okay and the elect is gonna have that faith instilled in them to trust on your how about show me how shine that level man okay let's go to John 21 verse 25 it says and there are also many other things which your house shot did the which if they should be written everyone I suppose that even the world itself could not contain the books that should be written. So there were a lot more works that he did, Yahweh Shai, that were not even recorded in the Bible, that were not even written. But like I said, if it was written, it says, I suppose that even the world itself could not contain the books that should be written. So he did a lot more than what was written. So once again, going back to John, 14 and 12. I'll read it again. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do shall he do also. And greater works than these shall he do because I go unto my Father. Right, so he gonna send that power down to his men, to his chosen men. Okay? And that's gonna be a beautiful time, man. That's gonna be a beautiful time to be able to do things on that level, man, by your faith, because you believe it. If you don't believe, you can turn whatever food you got and triple it, double it, or whatever. Well, it ain't going to happen, man. If you don't believe it, it's not going to happen. The same when the, uh, when the men of the Lord, during the Roman times, went to the Lord and say, I couldn't cast out that demon. What did Yahweh Shai say to them? He said, because of your unbelief. So you got to believe it, man. It's faith. You got to believe you can do it for it to be granted. All right? Let's go to Luke 17. I'm going to start at 5 and read to 6. Luke chapter 17, verse 5. And the apostle said unto the Lord, increase our faith. Verse 6. And the Lord said, if ye had faith as a grain of a mustard seed, ye might say unto this Sycamine tree, be thou plucked up by the root, and be thou planted in the sea, and it should obey you. That's the kind of faith, man, the faith of a grain of a mustard seed, that whatever you say, it happens. Why? Because you fully believe it's going to happen. You believe it, man. So the Lord Yahweh Shai heavily taught about faith, okay, 
And we're coming to that time where your faith is going to have to be established, man. It's going to have to be established. Don't don't wait until martial law to say, okay, I'm going to have faith now. I'm going to just, I'm going to turn up my faith meter. You better turn up your faith meter now, man. Day in and day out and really start putting in your mind that you either trust fully in your heart by shim, your heart shall or not. And that's what it's coming to. Okay? So when it says, you shall eat, but they should be hungry, the ones that are going to be able to eat, it's because they're going to believe they're going to eat. Meaning, they're going to be doing miracles to eat, man. Blessings upon them because of their faith. So remember that, man. Remember that. Remember, always go back to the stories, man, of the miracles that the Lord did. And always understand that the Lord said that we're going to do the things that he did and greater. With that, I want to say, the water, you how about you, how shy. If you give me the spirit to do this video, double honors to the elders of Great Millstone. And shalom to you brothers out there that's truly waiting on our Lord, you how shy. Shalom.